The use cases that we're seeing most um, kind of represent kind of the vast majority of customers are folks that are using what I would really call big data. Sensor data, web data, log data, um, where they're data that they've really not analyzed before um, and that is you know, really, really big. And they bring it into a service and allow them to, to kind of analyze and see trans information they haven't um, actually used before. Specifically, gaming. We have five or six gaming customers who are using us for behavioral analysis. Um, we have a number of customers using us for digital marketing, kind of looking at cross-brand analysis. Um, other folks are using us for kind of a number of different things, looking at website trends um, and analysis, again, at a micro level. So, kind of gives you a sense. Mm -hmm. So Rich, you said three things, cloud, big data, and analytics. Yep. I wonder if we could unpack those. So cloud, it's, it's SaaS-based service, right? It's absolutely. Okay. Sign up for the service, and we not only provide the kind of database infrastructure, the platform of service that we talked about last year, but we also provide some of the integration capabilities. So if you're using big data, and you're using web data, or log data, or sensor data, we actually have an agent technology that we can embed in those systems and load information in it at, frankly, very, very high rates. So we, we have one customer that's actually loading uh, 10 billion rows of information a day into our service. Okay, and then your big data piece, you talked about the, the column store, the, the stone breaker mojo. Uh, so that's the sort of data, the, the, the storage subsystem, right? It's yeah, a data within, store. Within a, cloud, within a cloud infrastructure. So we're talking about a cloud-based database. Right. The security's inside the database, right? Absolutely. Uh, and you know, like anything, we, we run on a, um, Amazon, so we use Amazon as a platform. Um, with our own database, but the fact of the matter is we leverage all of their security services, take advantage of that, um, and many of the applications we're looking for aren't, and doing today are ones where information's being aggregated at a high level, so security's not as big a concern as if you were looking at HIPAA data, for instance. Right, okay, but so you're not, um, you're not, you're not partnering in Amazon in the sense that they're offering your service. No. You're utilizing the AWS infrastructure, you guys architected that, which is not trivial. Everybody thinks you can swipe the credit card and now you're on it's your exactly way. exactly right. But you mm -hmm. really have to think about how to architect it, how to deal with security, how to deal with scale. <laughs> you got to deal with all the compatibility issues, the API issues. It's exactly right. Make sure it performs properly. I mean, there's a lot of work there um, and that goes into that. And, and you bring up a really good point. One of the things that I think is uh, an advantage in the way we look at it is we also provide a console environment for a particular user so that they can look at their instance that's running in the service and know exactly what's going on. What jobs are running, what jobs aren't running, what the performance looks like, if they have long running queries, why they're having long running queries. We give them a ton of information. And then, you know, we're at the Tableau conference, they can also, even though it's a service, connect to their local Tableau, you know, um, instance and be able to either leverage Tableau in the cloud or traditional Tableau. Okay, and then your analytics piece, um, you sort of maybe just touched upon that, but, but are you talking about an analytics, full-blown analytics platform, or are we talking about a, a, a platform to build analytics apps, or a combination? Yeah, it's, it, the, most of what we're being used for, if you think about it, is we're a solution right now for the kinds of apps that we're looking at. So we'll build or dashboards and for those particular areas. For instance, we've done that for gaming, we've done it for digital media, we'll do that for some other areas as we move forward. Now, where are you guys based? Based in, in uh, California, in Mountain View, right in the middle of Silicon Valley. So, <laughs> it's a nice place to be. <laughs> and what's headcount? Headcount today is uh, almost 30 folks, so we're real small, real agile, Growing mm -hmm. like a weed. <laughs> so what are some of the markets you're in, your customers are in, I should say? Um, do you, you see any, uh, Dominic, you mentioned gaming. Uh, what are some of the, the early adopters uh, of your technology and your uh, platform as a service You approach? know, most, most of our customers, interesting, um, I think because we're cloud-based, are line of business kinds of folks, mm -hmm. uh, or medium-sized businesses, that look at the cost profile of a, of a service and say, this is something I can now do. You know, I can have my kind of little data warehouse um, for myself, 
that nobody else, um, you know, I don't have to worry about all these other things of assembling all the components and all the people that it requires to manage it. I can do it kind of myself. And that's, that's what's enabled um, a number of our customers kind of in the medium line of business, you know, whether it be marketing or a particular area of a business. We have another kind of group that's emerging looking at sensor data on uh, telemetrics basically mm -hmm. on cars, mm -hmm. which is also a real kind of interesting market because you're cleansed, you know, there's all kinds of sensors in cars these days, <laughs> being able to collect those in real time and, and understand exactly what's going on from uh, that automobile and how it's being driven in relationship to everyone else in that community is pretty pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Allows manufacturers to do a number of different things in terms of fine tuning performance and fine tuning usability, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So, you know, considering uh, the the business that you're in and the approach you're taking, I think I know to some degree the answer to this question, but I'd like to get you to expand a little bit on how you see this big data uh, uh, world evolving in terms of on-premise versus cloud. Um, you know, you mentioned you've got a lot of departmental customers. Do you see cloud becoming the dominant deployment model for I big data in the enterprise? Um, we've, you know, we've done some coverage uh, at, at events like Strata and other places. We've talked to Cloud Air, for instance, kind of the, the, the market leader, kind of one of the first Hadoop companies. Um, you know, most of their deployments are behind the firewall. Do you see that moving in the, in the direction of the cloud and is it going to be for all organizations, or do you think you know the really large organizations that can still hire legions of administrators and developers are still going to do it behind their firewall? Uh, there's people that are going to build on-premise things for a long time, but I think we're at the beginning of a big trend. Forgetting about big data for a minute, the ability to be basically have computing services outsourced to someone else just is the right thing to do over time. Why? Why should companies be spending so much money just focusing and you know, resources on getting their infrastructure in place to actually support the business? The more, the higher percentage of people can be supporting the business, the, the better that company's going to be. And cloud's going to enable that. And so we're at the front end of that. I think for big data, if you tie cl cloud to big data, you know, there's an issue with, uh, people don't know all of what they don't know about big data. So if you can give them a solution that's low friction, that they can get up and running really quickly, it's going to start to expand, I think, the market. Mm -hmm. Right now we're in love with social and we're in love with web data and there's, you know, there's great applications and we're creating great value in those markets, but there's all kinds of things ahead of us. You know, we're just starting to talk about sensor data and we're just talking about all of the different areas where we could put sensors and I think that market's going to explode. Mm -hmm. um, you know, instrumenting applications, instrumenting all kinds of things. Um, that's starting and that gives, doing it in a cloud-based environment gives you a cost profile that, that in, and a time to, time to value equation that makes it really um, exciting and, and, um, and I think going to be a big vacuum in the market or a sucking sound in the marketplace, <laughs> so to speak. And so yeah, really the idea of you know, let you, you, you as a business, you as a company, focus on your core business and let us focus on some of the hard, hard work in the database side and the, uh, the data side of the business uh, and let you focus on the front end. Really. Yeah, and, let, and, and, and if you have a system that can allow you, to, as I said earlier, to start looking at value fairly quickly, then you can start to figure out how to actually tune those systems and how to get value back to that business much quicker. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, if you can do that in three or four days to three or four weeks, that's a completely different equation than what we've been operating on over the last 15 years. Mm -hmm. Now you guys just um, uh, closed your uh, Series A, $5 million Series A this summer, right? Yes. <coughs> so, uh, now how much have you raised to date? Almost eight seven, million? No, seven, little over seven. Yeah. Um, the company was growing real rapidly, um, but as we talked about, a lot of people don't know who Treasure Data is, so we decided to raise a Series A to really bring on some more resources to expand sales and marketing. Right. Pretty classic model. Um, so you use most of the money for promotion? We're going <coughs> to, as it goes forward, and we just closed that. That's been closed, I think, three or four or five weeks, so yeah, right. it's relatively new. So the ink is drying on that. Yeah, I haven't spent it all yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me, give me a couple months. Excellent. All right, Rich, well listen, thanks for stopping in the Cube, a little drive-by, really appreciate that. Good luck with the, Thank you. With the company and its continued growth. All right, it. keep it right there, everybody. Jeff Kelly Thank and I you. will be back. This is the Cube, we're live from the Tableau Customer Conference in the heart of DC. Well, sort of, we're actually in Maryland, but uh, <laughs> we're here at the nation's capital. We saw it last night. We'll be right back after this. <laughs>